Okay, so for this one, I see I have a negative number here and a negative number here. So since this is division with same signs, that means my answer is going to be positive. So I'm going to divide this. This is, I'm going to ignore the, um, the negative signs for now just because I already know that my answer is going to be positive when I get to the end. So I'm not too concerned about that right now. Okay, I'm going to put my decimal point up here to remind myself that I need to line them up. And here is an, a pretty nice trick that um, I know a lot of people might have done this in sixth grade where they make a list on the side of um, some of the multiplication here. And it makes it a little easier for us to do some of this, um, some of this division. So when I am looking at this division, these are big numbers. So the first thing I wanna do is look at just the first number. Can I do, 3 divided by 15. No, I can't. So I'm going to look at the first two numbers. Can I do 34 divided by 15? Yes, I can because I can do 30. That would mean 2. So I'm going to put 2 right here above the 4. And let's do some subtraction. That leaves four. I'm going to bring this five down. And now the nice thing about doing that multiplication on the side is that I can very easily see that 45 is one of the numbers that I get when I multiply 15 by something. And three is the number that I'm going to put up top, multiply or subtract 45, and zero tells me that I am done. So from here, I already know that my answer is positive, so I'm just going to put this in my answer box, 0 0.23. And I can keep that plus sign there, I can delete it, whatever you want, but that is the answer.